Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about the URL4 function in Flask. Basically what URL4 does is it returns to you the URL that is used for a particular view function. And with that URL you could either redirect the user to that page or you can simply just display that URL. So to demonstrate, let me show you what I have set up. I'm importing Flask along with URL4 and redirect, the two functions we're going to use in this example. And then I have a route on the index set up here. So I'm going to create another route. And I'll call this one the first. first route and I'm going to return the URL for index. So index is the name of the function for this route. So before you may have noticed in Flask you didn't have to use the function names for anything in the routes like the decorator up here took care of uh, the function so this URL part was the more important part and this function name didn't mean anything you just need it there but with the URL for the function names become significant by referencing that function name you will get the URL associated with that function so in this case the URL for index should be this the URL for first route will be this first alright so let me save this and run first so slash first and I just get a slash so let me create a third view and I'll call it second return URL for first route and now if I go to slash second I get slash first because it's returning the URL for the first route. And this even works with parameters. So third, and it takes in a string called name. Need to put the name in here. And if I say on the second, I want the URL for the third route, and I'm also going to supply a name. So I want the name to be Anthony. So when I call second, it's going to give me the URL for the third route, which is this, and it's going to add the name parameter here because the third route needs a name. So let me run this. So it gives me third slash Anthony. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Uh, you can use these URLs for like links in your application if you want, um, or redirecting, which is what I'll show you now. So instead of returning just the URL, I can redirect the user to a particular URL. So I just need to call the URL, or the redirect function with the URL as the parameter. I've already re imported redirect. So now when I call second, it's not only going to get the URL for the third route with name equals Anthony, but it's going to send me to that third route. So as you can see right now, it's on second, but once I hit enter, it sends me over to third with the name Anthony. And this redirecting is good for if, say, a user tries to log in and their login fails, you can redirect them back to the login page. or they're on your site and their session expires. So the next time they try to access a page, you can redirect them to the login page. And there are other uh, cases you can use this for as well. So I'm pretty sure that was pretty simple for anyone. But if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, just hit like and subscribe to my channel. So thanks for watching.